kind of in the beginning stages of a project-based learning unit on earth materials. So we've been studying the earth systems in general and are kind of getting into the geosphere a little bit about um, different earth materials, very much in the exploratory phase of uh, what are earth materials. Um, you can see they have a lot of knowledge about rocks, but they're not sure what is a rock, what's not a rock. Um, so it really was just kind of inquiry based for me to get information about what they already know of their schema um, and to get them to start categorizing and, and looking for some of the properties of rocks. Remember that um, we're going into science, so I want to just remind you how we kind of started. We have this mystery earth material that we have to figure out more about. So we are learning things that good scientists do to be able to hopefully help us figure out what this earth material is and what this earth material is made out of. So we got our letter from Eros asking for our help in that. So this week we've been working on making good observations. Talk at your table. What do we do to make good observations? Mm -hmm. What do we do to make good observations? Mm -hmm. So give me an example. If we're looking at an earth material, what do we have to know about it? We have to, uh, we have to know where it comes from, how it feels, how it moves, how it's okay. Is it about okay. sound? Okay. It... So all of those things, right? Queso, right. okay. class? Yes. Raise your hand if you can give me an idea. When, what helps us or what do we do to make good observations? Because yesterday we did our guessing game. We found out when we didn't have some good observations, right? So what are things we do to make sure we have good observations? Alexis? Um, make sure you can like, look at the out. Okay, so we want to describe it enough so that somebody else can figure it out. We talked about that yesterday. Danny? We kind of want them to figure it out. We do, right? We want to give them enough clues that they can actually figure it out. We don't want to leave it a mystery, right? Because we're trying to figure out this mystery rock. Lily? Right, so you guys are listing a lot of those different properties, right, that helped us describe those. Maria, one more? You would have to give, um, like, you would have to give enough information so they could figure it out. Right, good. And we've talked about using all five senses to help us make sure we're making good observations, but which one are we not really going to do right now? Sharice? Taste. Taste. Please do not taste these earth materials because we still don't know what they are. Okay. If it's something that I know we can eat, I'll let you know that, okay? <laughs> So today, our goal is we're going to keep up with our observation skills, okay? Because to do this task, you're going to have to be a good observer. But you're going to work as a team. So it says, working as a team, I can compare and contrast rocks based on my observations and sort them into categories. What does that word categories mean? Sort them into categories. Whisper to a neighbor. What do you think that word means? Class, city class? Yes, city yes. Somebody know what that word categories means? Haley? Groups. groups, different groups, okay? Just a big word that means groups. So you're going to categorize and sort them into different groups, okay? You're going to work as a team. Does that mean one person gets to do all the work? No, it means you're all in charge of working as a team. And then you have to make sure our second goal is to record the categories and explain my reasoning for why I sorted them the way I did. Okay. You have to justify your thinking and tell us why you sorted them that way. Giving us enough information so that we can understand your thinking. Like somebody said, we don't want them to not know. We don't want them to not be able to get it. We want to give them enough information so that they know. Okay. So to do that today, you're going to have your recording sheet. Okay. And it says, welcome junior geologist. As geologists, we need to be able to observe and describe the various materials that we are looking at. Today, your science team is to observe the various earth materials in your lab and sort or group them in various ways. Make sure that you record your sorts and explain why you sorted it that way. Remember to talk and work with your team of junior geologists as you observe, sh sort, and explain. Where Put that away, please. Okay. So your lab is going to be your tray of minerals. 
Now remember on your minerals, I've numbered them 1 to 12 so that when you record your sorting things. And we already have our recording form in our Google Drive. So those of you that weren't here, you have one person in your group that took care of that. Okay. Are there any questions on how you're going to record your information on this sheet here? Give me a thumbs up if you feel like you're good and you're going to be able to help your group out. All right, we got almost all thumbs up, and if they're not quite, we have some down, but I bet your table is going to be able to help you, Leilani, okay? All right, so for this activity today, if you have the blue sticker, don't do anything yet, but blues, you are going to be our task managers, and task managers do what? What is the task manager going to do? Katie? Good. Make sure everybody's getting a turn. Tell people when to switch if we need to. Okay. Red. Raise your hand if you're a red. Oh, yep. Tony, you got a sticker right at your table spot there. You are a yellow. Red. What is our red going to do? Haley? Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you about how many minutes you have. So you're going to time keepers. You're going to want to look at the clock and try to figure that stuff out. Okay, are we ready to go here? Are we ready to go here? Okay. Green, our getter. Sam, what are our getters going to do? They get your earth materials and they put them back. Okay, they're the people in charge of, they're really the only ones that get up and move if we need them to. And our recorders. Our recorders. Micah? Yeah, you got it. Make sure everybody is getting their information recorded. You are going to be recording as a group. So the recorder is going to probably start recording, but they're also going to make sure anybody who gets a chance to type in their document gets a chance to type in their document. Okay. Are there any questions about what you're going to be doing? Turn to the people at your table, talk about what you're going to do, make sure everybody knows what the task is. Well, task mm -hmm. Got it? Okay. Good. Okay. Class, class, class. Yes, yes, yes. Put a thumb up on top of your head if your group is ready to go. Okay. Most of you are ready to go. Now, voice level, what is it going to be like in here once we get going? Mose? Is it going to be quiet? No, 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 no. Okay. Is it going to be silent? No. Five being the loudest, one being the quiet. Show me on your fingers where voice levels you think will be. Okay. Yeah, I like that right around three, a lot of you. Okay. You need to be able to talk with your teammates, but we don't want to shout. Okay. All right. Eyes on me. Finger on your nose when you're ready. Getters, will you please go get your materials? Recorders, will you get your Chromebooks up and going so that your group has a recording for them? Timekeepers, I'm going to give you guys about 10 minutes. Uh, we have a mystery earth material that's come from Eros. Um, so I created a letter that, you know, is from Eros asking for their help in identifying this um, material. So we kind of always go back to that activity because we're always trying to figure out, um, we don't have any tools right now to figure out what this earth material is or what's in it. So we're kind of learning. Um, all our investigations we can tie back to how can we use this now to help us figure out this mystery material. So um, hoping to be able to maybe go visit out there too, but kind of using them as a mock um, situation for them to actually have a purpose for everything they're doing. Colors. So how would you group the rest of these? How would you keep them? So you're going by color right now. This one looks like from the Grand Canyon. Seriously, this one looks like dead. So how could we figure out where to put it? Say that again. Closest colors. Closest colors. So if these aren't all black, how could we describe that group in a different way? Uh, we use a different word. 
Oh, it's I got an idea. How about we can switch the colors? Blackish colors. Can we switch okay. the colors? Mm -hmm. That's so they're making a group of black there. I see a little bit of black on this one. So that might be a different way to switch colors. So these are another word I'm thinking of is maybe dark. These are all darker. So they're maybe not black, but they're all darker. So you guys are sorting by color right now. So does having okay, does that matter for this sort? No. So for this sort, it doesn't matter because they're going by color. How about by color? Well, do one sort at a time. We're doing by dark colors. Okay, so what about these here? This one's you can challenge. Why do you think it's fake? Because of the inside and this one is fake and this one. So does an earth material, so you're saying an earth material has to be hard? Yeah. Well, no, but no. if you feel it, you think it's not as hard. I think this is fake okay. too. So could you sort that way somehow? Yeah. So how would you sort? Okay. So what do you mean by fake and not fake? So stuff comes off. So could you sort it by ones that where stuff comes off and ones that stuff doesn't come off? Okay, so do that. This is fake. So feel all of those and see what there is. So what did you guys sort by here? Oh, okay. Like we thought it was rocks. Ah, so what group are you putting it in? Oh, in the middle. Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's half rock here. Okay, so you kind of have three groups. Yeah. Ones you think are rocks, ones you think are crystal, and one that's a rock just crystal. Half, yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 So let's put a smooth group over here. We got a rough group over here. Let's start the rest of our earth materials. Where would you put the rest of them? Smooth or rough? What do you think for that one? Smooth. Is that what you're thinking too? There's some smooth parts on that one. And How about we put those right there? So right now though, you're sorting by what you feel, right? Smooth or rough. So where would that go? Which one do you think of? Okay, so you guys have two that you need to decide about. What about those two? Can you wait? Then go quick. What do you think, Haley? For that one right there. This one is big, and this one is medium, but it's small. But like, like we talked about yesterday, you said it doesn't matter which one you're talking about. Because mostly this one can be big compared to other one. So is there something you can think of that we can reference that to? It's about as small as what? What what is something about that size? My pinky. It's small okay, my pinky. Could we use a fist size for these? Yeah. yeah maybe. Okay, about the size of your fist. Okay. So those would be some different ways that you could write those on. And then these are. Um, like white. white. I'm not really sure if this thing should be with those. What is it? What do you guys think? What is your group thinking? Do you think it goes in one of these groups, or do you think it has its own category? This one, these two have white, that can be, but I think this one should be by itself, since it doesn't have that much white. I don't know why, I just think these two go together because they're like both, they just look the same to me. I don't know why. What are you sorting by? What property are you sorting by? Colors. We're just thinking color right now. So when you look at those, are they the same color? No. No. And you have, I believe you guys had them together before because they were crystals. You were thinking, right? Yeah. You're right. So, but but you're right. For this sort, since you're going by color, you probably keep them separate. Okay. But that, it would be okay to have that one in its own group. Okay. If you really don't think it fits any place else, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Madison noticed that I don't know if other timekeepers did, but we got, actually I gave you a little bit of extra time for our um, first sort. I want you to keep your earth materials quiet, keep your hands empty just for a few minutes. Okay. I want you to think about and kind of help each other out here a little bit. What right now are some of the ways that you have been, you can put your hands down, but keep your hands empty, so make sure there's no hand lenses in that, okay. or earth materials. You're right, they're not rocks. I got it wrong again, didn't I? Because we don't know if they're rocks or not. 
What are some of the things that you guys, what are some of the properties that you're using right now to sort? What are some of the ways you've come up with? Cherise? Size. Size. Okay. What are some of the other properties you're coming up with? Mose? Shape. Other properties. Ethan? Sparkly. Ooh, sparkly. Okay. Ethan, you want to call on somebody? Colors. Okay. Kaylee, go ahead and call on somebody. What it feels like. Stormy, you want to call on somebody? So far we have size, shape, feels like, sparkly, color. Okay, so crystal versus rock material. Lily, go ahead and call on one more person. Let's shorten that up. Okay, kind of going with what it feels like there, the smooth or rough. Okay, Sam, take a break. All right, so those are good some properties to sort by. Are you finding it hard sometimes to only sort by one thing at a time? Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we're looking at something and we're trying to sort by color and I hear people saying, but this one weighs heavy. What? If we're sorting by color, does it matter what it weighs right now? No. It doesn't. Could you sort by weight? Yeah. You could. That might be another one that you do, but you really only have to sort by probably one property at a time. Okay. I'm going to give you just a few more minutes. I know that we're probably going to need to have some time to do this another day too, but I'm going to give you about about five more minutes probably to work as your group and see and work a little bit more and record some of those sorts, okay? So you have about five more minutes to work, so go ahead and go. Okay, so if you had to, so you have them kind of ordered right now? Stormy and Sharice and Mandy, what do you think? Is there a way that we could divide these? into two, maybe two or three groups. Yes. So she has them going from kind of, you say lightest to? Light, lightest to, to heaviest. To heaviest. Okay. This one is the heaviest. E-I. No, no, this one is the heaviest. This one's the heaviest. I like this one. So this one's the heaviest, even though yeah. it's littler than that one? Yeah. Because, Interesting. because even though it's, we're not doing the size right now, it is. Did you feel these two weights, Madison? Did you feel how this little one is actually heavier? I know. Isn't that interesting? It's smaller, though. But we're not sizing. You're right. You're not going by size. So see if you can make some groups. Maybe we have ones that are heavy, some that are light. Some that are so medium. It looks, it looks like you're gonna like chop, chop. It does. So see if you can make them. So Danny, you ordered them. See if you can make some groups with them. First of all, I, th I heard a lot of good talk at tables. I'm noticing that it was a little bit hard to keep up with the recording. Would you guys agree? Uh -huh. Trying to get that written down. So that's something we learned, something that we'll try different next time, okay? But I want you to think. Eyes on me in three, two, one. I want you to think about our goals for this lesson, okay? Our goal was to work as a team. I can compare and contrast rocks based on my observations and sort them into categories. I want you to think just about you, how you feel you did at that goal. Give me a four, three, two, or one. Right here. How do you feel? Did you, were you able to compare those rocks, use your observations, and sort them into categories? Give me a four, three, two, one. Grade yourself. All right, put your number down. Now I want you to think as a team. How did your team work together to compare and sort those rocks? Four, three, two, one. Remember four, being awesome. You think your team worked awesome. Three, your team worked pretty good. Two, 
Okay, maybe had some hard times. One, you thought your team had troubles. All right, hands down. Third graders, I want you to think just a little bit more here. So make sure those hands are empty. Okay, oops, see if I can get down. One more quick sort. Okay, don't worry about recording this one down. Rock or not, I want you to sort your earth materials into ones that you think are rocks and ones you think are not rocks. You don't have to record this down right now. I'm going to take a picture. Two piles, rock, not rock. So what do you guys got here? So what? So these you're thinking no, these you're thinking yes. Okay. Okay. Do you want to set it down, Maria, so I can get a picture? So would you agree that we maybe do need to know more about it before you can decide? So we have to do a little bit more investigating, don't we? You're right. I was asking you to kind of make some guesses. There's things that you aren't quite sure of. Are you 100% are you sure you're right, the way you have them sorted? No. Probably not. You're, you're answering and you're observing and you're making guesses as best as you can. Sam? Um, like this one, does it like, look um, weird? And um, so it's not that heavy. Okay. So you're looking at the weight. You were thinking about, does it look real? Danny? Actually, this is the same earth mm -hmm. material. Third grade, so take your hands off your earth material so it's quiet. I know this one isn't real because like this and then this. But um, mm -hmm. if you actually rub it against your hand, it gets you like chalky. OK. So you have one that's making you really chalky, went by some of the noise. Rahel? Okay, all right. Well, I know there's a lot of things that you and your groups were talking about and looking at. I think I got pictures of most groups. Is there a group that I did not get a picture of your sort? I got one of your guys's. Did you get not one yours? Course? Okay, I got one of yours. I got yours, I think. So maybe, no? Okay, I'll get a picture of yours quick. All right, class, class, class. One final thing. I'm going to ask everybody to get out their Chromebook. And I'm going to ask that you, as you log in, will you please listen? I'm going to ask you to multitask. I want you to reflect a little bit on your activity that you did. So go to our wiki, and you're going to go to the science page. And then when you get to the science, anybody know where you're going to go after that? Earth materials, same place you got your um, recording sheet. Yes, go to the second one here. It says comparing and sorting earth materials exit card. Okay. And it should bring up a form. Okay, I want you to take just a few minutes. There's three questions on there, okay? It says how are some of the earth materials the same? The second one. Yep. You're going to want to make sure you put your name. How are some of the earth materials the same? How are some of the earth materials different? And then it says name one or more things you learned today about earth materials. So I'm going to give you give a couple of minutes to answer those three questions. Please make sure you type your name in there with a capital letter. Okay, you are a proper person. Okay, first and last names using capital letters where appropriate. Answer those three questions. When you get done, you can just close your Chromebook and wait just a moment or so. So our next step is kind of going into, we'll, we'll have a discussion hopefully about their, the ones they thought were rocks and the ones they weren't. Because um, we need to kind of get to the point where they understand that um, rocks are made of minerals. So we want to define that difference between a rock um, and a mineral. So the, our first step is going to be really going from what are they thinking. Um, and then we'll go into some mock rocks and really thinking about uh, analyzing how rocks are made up of minerals. So kind of taking that exploration into rock, not rock, and then what is a mineral and, and how are these related to rocks and um, all those pieces. So.